A journalist should neither solicit nor accept bribe, gratification, or patronage to suppress or publish information. In the official language of Malawi, corruption is the seeking and the giving and the receiving of things that are supposed to be free or the services that have already been paid for. To demand payment for the publication of news is inimical to the notion of news as a fair, accurate, unbiased, and factual report of an event. So if you ask for more or less, which is very rare, then you're being corrupted. Our media ownership is not also transparent. We have some politicians owning our media houses, but at the same time, they're just a cover up. Is the journalist, is he a victim of the corruption of the society or is the journalist someone who preys on the fact that the society is corrupt? It has been a rather interesting and controversial debate taking place here at Eden Grove Red for the Highway Africa Conference where we had panelists from all over countries in Africa discussing the notions around uh, conflicts of um, corruption in the media workplace. Next to me is Mr. Amadou Martaba, who's going to just give us a brief summary of how he felt the discussion took place. Thank you. Um, indeed, rather interesting. Uh, what has happened is, obviously, corruption in the media workplace is an important issue. It's an important issue because, first and foremost, um, you know, everybody knows it. There is huge corruption in media. And sometimes it's the owners, sometimes it's the editors, sometimes it's the reporters, the journalists. It's not sustainable. What that does, it's killing our profession. It's killing our sector in a time when you have all this emergence and proliferation of you know, digital gadgets where everybody has a voice. If everybody has a voice and somebody who is out there as a citizen journalist can transmit news and views in a way which is viewed as very ethical, as opposed to somebody who is in a news organization, who is actually identified as being corrupt, what that would do is kill the profession of journalism. And that's why what we have been doing at, in my organization is that we set up what we call the leadership guiding principles for media owners and executives, because we have to start from the top to show the example and lead from the top.